Recording. All right, I'm recording again. There's some big trees. What a, what a difference. Went from that cut area to this instantly. <laughs> there's not much of an elevation change, but there's more than I thought there would be. Yep. It's uh, glacier elevation changes. Yeah, I need to show you all the hill shade. Um, you can see, you can pan around up here in Michigan and Wisconsin. You can see the angles. From the glacier movement? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. kind of trail you get a hurt toe on. I know all about that. Yes. Well, mine was more of a foot than a toe, but it didn't feel good regardless. Yeah. <laughs> See, like right there on those little signs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They could add the number. Yep. This seems to be less whooped out. Yep. I used to like those loop, well, loops at Livingston on the main trail. Yeah. <laughs> My 125. <laughs> uh oh. Ah. I almost showed you a wheel. Who? Me. You're behind me? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, you didn't see that inside line? I did. <laughs> Uh-huh. A swamp. A little lake down here. Yeah. Well, for a swim? What's a vacation without swimming? Something tells me that there there is a few mosquitoes down there. Well, a few frogs down there too. Yes. <laughs> Maybe they're eating the mosquitoes. <laughs> Did you see that bat viewing area back in town last night? Yeah. 
<laughs> cool. I wonder if there's a cave. It's got to be. Yeah. There's, I wonder some... if there's a cave they come out of or something at night. <laughs> It's right there in town. Uh huh. So they um. That's something that eats a lot of mosquitoes right there. Uh yeah, that's what I tell Chris. I say, my front deck is a bat viewing area. Yeah. And I welcome them. Uh, yes. It's... Ooh, there's a big rut. That was a tight one. Yes. <laughs> been a couple in here. <laughs> oh, I don't see Chris. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Keep going? Yeah. Do we need to slow down a little or are we okay? He'll probably catch up. You can stop if you want to. He was not very far back. Is that where we need to go? Yes. Pumping up! <laughs> You gonna share? No. <laughs> no. I just I just tapped the tree. Oh. <laughs> I was laughing at myself. I see. Did you look both ways? Yeah, it was like, oh my. Here we go. Pinball. Yeah. Somebody's got spikes on their tires. Harvey. Harvey Kyle. Oh, Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. I, David asked me once, says, "What is that on those rocks?" <laughs> I, said, I said, "Those are said, Kyle's running spikes." I said, "You tell Kyle I don't want my rock scratched up like that." <laughs> he should have made him go back and fix them all. Yeah. Buff them, sand them, then buff them down. He's been uh, he's been sending Kyle business when he can. Oh, good for him. Awesome. I think Kyle's got a license now in Franklin, Woodford, Scott, and Anderson. Well, tell him to get one in Oldham. <laughs> well, if he were to get a job in a county where, you know, he thought it was worth it. He'd go buy it. You know, yeah, that's what sure. he's been doing. All right. If he gets a good enough job, he knows it pays well enough. He just goes ahead and gets it. Yep. And it's mainly just for new installs. Yep. I don't think he has to have it if he's just repairing something. I see. Uh, Both Rocky Mountain dealer. Hold on a second. I don't see Chris. Oh, there he is. Keep going. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's. What were you saying about Rocky Mountain? 
Yeah. Uh, Bo's a Bo gets a discount now or something. He's a dealer or reseller or something. How the hell did he do that? Well, he opened up his shop and he's he's going to be doing mechanic work and he got in with two or three. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Where's it at? House. He's got a huge building there. Huge okay. Building. Well. Oh. Oh. Did you get jousted? No, but I figure I almost did, so I'll just fix that for somebody else. All right. This is too cool. It's weird not getting the bikes dirty. Yeah. I've been coming home just covered in spider webs. Have you? Half of the trunk of that tree was missing from Barkbusters. <laughs> Look at that maple down there. Red one. Oh, yeah. Sticks out like a sore thumb. It's getting an early start. Yeah, well, yeah, that day you said, oh, it was 39 in Marquette. I'm like, here you go. Yeah. You know. I just leave it standing. They did a really good job of zigzagging this around. Oh, yeah. They've done a wonderful job of using the land. Uh-huh. Jesse's really good at that. I noticed that about that uh, the Copperhead Dual Sport I went to a few weeks ago. Yeah. That they really knew how to use what they had. Yeah. I would get frustrated sometimes. And Jesse could find ways to make things work that I just didn't have the... <laughs> patience to deal with. He'd uh, stroke his beard and say, I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So maybe this year we'll get to go to Georgia and arrive with Jesse. If, if he finishes his bike... That was the holdup, wasn't it? Yeah, he has no interest in finishing it. To him, it's all about the stuff. It's not <laughs> a ride. A ride. But he's got the stuff now. So, you know, so.
you know, I think if it was you and I, you know, we'd get off work. And <laughs> we'd go out to the garage and we'd start that's, working on it, you know. That's what I do. He goes home and checks his garden and <laughs> picks some tomatoes and sits on the couch and, you know, tells his wife what to do. <laughs> do I need to edit that out? <laughs> yeah, no, no. She won't ever hear it. <laughs> no, it's not my Jesse. No. no. <laughs> we love you, Jesse. Oh, I'll give him hell about it all the time. <laughs> he's used to it. <laughs> yeah, he, he knows. He knows I think he's slack. Well, if he didn't, he does now. <laughs> exactly right. I'm not saying anything I wouldn't say to him, to his face. Yeah. He knows. He'd say, don't be a hater, Kent. Don't be a hater. <laughs> <laughs> he did make the comment that the next time he comes up to Kentucky, he's going to try to have his bike together and bring Try, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Yeah. So. <laughs> that's my saying. But that was, you know, that, and that's a good thing. He, uh, he wouldn't have said that if he hadn't been in his mind a little bit. You know? Yeah. I think it's a straight to stretch the trail right there. Yep. Well, it's smart too, because um, the slower people are going, the less likely they are to get hurt real bad. Yeah. Good trail design. Yeah. Oh man, all these lakes are cool. Mm -hmm. How's Chris? Uh, yep, he's there. On the pegs, elbows up. You go, Chris. 